Can you still do 1080p video editing with a 2012 Mac Mini? Let's find out. All right, so if you watch some of my past videos, you know I like to kind of take these old Mac systems and see if they can still do video editing. For instance, this 2012 Mac Mini, this is the i5 version. This has got eight gigs of RAM, and there's one upgrade, and it's kind of a crappy upgrade, but it's basically the person that I bought this from, they put an SSD in here, and I'll show you the speeds in there later, but they're not the fastest. They're kind of, it's kind of an intermediate drive, I would call it. It's not really like even a real SSD, but that's the only thing. It does have eight gigs of RAM, and it's the i5 2012 Mac Mini. So it's not the i7, which is a lot faster. It's the, the you know the i5. That's the first thing. But can you get away with doing 1080p video editing on this machine? I'm going to go ahead and dive into it. And you guys, if you've seen my past videos again, I just go ahead and show you really quickly me making a real video. I show you how long that video is going to be, and then I show you the render time, and I let you make you know your own decisions based off the experience that I had really quickly with the video. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna show you, can this system right here, all the way from 2012, you know, run a YouTube channel with 1080p video editing. All right, so if you've watched my videos before, you know what I do here. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna actually just make a video, 1080p video, using my 2012 iMac i5. Uh, you know, obviously it's a very old system. You can get them for about 250 bucks. So here's the video clips over here I'm gonna be using. If you can look over here, I'm just gonna show everyone. They're gonna be 920 by 1080, so, you know, 1080p. They're uh, H.264, that's gonna be the codec, so just so you know what I'm using when you actually watch me make this. So I'll go ahead and shut that down. So the first thing I wanna do is just show people on the system. This is, again, eight years old, so how fast, I'm just gonna use iMovie to tell you the truth. How fast can it actually open up iMovie? Let's go ahead and just click on it. Here it is right here. Let's see how fast this can actually open up iMovie. You see it bouncing over there, one, two, three, bam. So it's not even that slow here. And we're just gonna go ahead and create a new video here. So let's go ahead and create new, new movie. Let me minimize it. Let me go ahead and move this a little bit over here. And then we're gonna take all the video clips from over here. Let's drag all these into here. And there you go. So the first thing I wanna show people is just, you know, is there any, you know, does this program itself have any problems? This one obviously in particular doesn't, you know, as I loaded everything in there, it's very smooth. And, uh, but we'll go ahead and even, you know, like I said, we'll make a, you know, we'll show you exactly how this is gonna work here. I'm just gonna make a sample video and this video is gonna be nothing special. I'm not gonna try to make it color, you know, corrected or anything like that. I'm just gonna show you adding some multiple, you know, maybe one or two layers with some titles and stuff like that. And we'll just get, just get started just to show you what I'm gonna do. And then we'll show you how long it's gonna be. And then we're gonna show you the render time. All right, so let's get into this. So the very first thing I wanna do is just, let's go ahead and create the movie. This is just some old clips that I had. Again, I show you the format that they're in. Let's go ahead, actually, I don't wanna drag all of them at once. Let's go ahead and just drag this one first. We'll drag it in here. Let's go ahead and extend the, the actual line out here so you can see. But look look up in the upper right-hand corner how smooth this is. Now this is an eight-year-old machine. Again, I show you the format of, or the codec of the actual video. But as you can see, I'm just mousing over things back and forth, and there's not even really any drop frames whatsoever, so it's super, super smooth. I mean, I on the keyboard too, I can go frame by frame, just like that. Um, but if I drag really, really quickly, you can see how fast this is. So that's the first thing. Obviously, there's an audio layer in here as well, so we're gonna take care of that. But really, all I wanna do here today is just, let's just make a sample movie. So I'm just gonna be dropping in some multiple layers. So obviously, in a video, if I was to play this, it's gonna to cut to that video like you can see right here. So there's gonna be a couple different layers of video. So let's go ahead and take a couple more of these other ones over here and we'll just drop them in. I mean, again, I'm not trying to make a real video. I'm just trying to make something that would maybe be more realistic to like a real video you might make by yourself. And just to show people, you know, what is gonna be the actual render time of this. To go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead in here and we're gonna split this a couple times. And we're gonna add, let's go up to here and just add a transition in, just a couple. I mean, let's just assume this is gonna be maybe a four or five minute video, just to, you know, let's just say it's a short YouTube video and that's, you know, what I think most people wanna make with this kind of old system like this. So can it, can it handle this? We'll go over here and let's go ahead and split it here as well. And let's go ahead and throw in one more transition there. And again, if I go ahead and play the transition here, you'll see it. You can see it there, very, very smooth on here. So no problem whatsoever. Look at this, very, very smooth. So the last thing that I wanna do here is maybe just add some titles. And again, I'm not gonna title anything in here because it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, let's go up here. We're just gonna drop these in as if we were going to be putting real titles in. 
I know people, a lot of times people say, why aren't you renaming it? Why aren't you saying something? Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because text is text. Um, so let's go over here. You can see now, as I do this, there's a little bit you know, of things stuttering and loading in up here. And again, that has to do more with the hard drive because I'm using not the best SSD, which I'll get into in a little second here. But um, at the end of the day, you can see that I put in some number of titles here, some transitions. And let's just add maybe like a lens flare here. You can see that. Um, let me go ahead and grab that and throw that over here. So there you go. So if I was actually to go over here and actually click on this, let's go ahead and watch this. You can see it up there. So there's the lens flare. All right, so let's assume that we completed our video, even though this is kind of crazy. And let's go ahead and render this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the render. I'm going to show you how I'm going to render this so you know the formatting I'm using. But then I'm going to stop everything like the movie just because I don't want any resources being used to, to time how long it's going to take. This timeline here, you can see it's 4.51, so 4 minutes and 51 seconds at 1080p. You can see it right there. If I go, actually go here, you'll see it a little bit better if I click on it. But anyways, you'll see, so there it is, almost five minutes, 4.51. But let's go up here and let's go to, actually the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go back to projects. Let's just name it something, my movie. Let's click that. I always like to save things first. I, I tend to help, I think it does help with the render a little bit. So we're back in here now. Anyways, let's go back up here. Let's go ahead and render this out now. So I wanna go to file. And then in here, so it doesn't really matter what I use, what I name it or anything like that. So I'm going to skip that part. Video and audio we want. We want 1080p. We want quality high. And then compress. Let me see here. Well, actually, let's do yeah, quality high. And then we're going to do this, better quality. So compress is better quality and not faster, which is actually means it's a little bit higher quality. Let's click next. And, uh, and then my movie, we're going to call it my movie one. So at this point, I'm going to stop this video um, and then I'm going to come back and let you guys know again, the timeline's 451. So how long is it going to take when I hit save to render this? We're going to go ahead and get a timer set up and I'll let you know here in a second. All right. So the final time was six minutes and 37 seconds. So as we said before, the, the actual timeline was four minutes and 51 and to render it took six minutes and 37 seconds. So it's not too much longer than real time. And again, this is eight, going on eight and a half years old. Um, here's if I go down here to Launchpad, um, Launchpad, if I go to actually Finder and I go into Documents, here's the movie we just rendered. So the, the rendered size is 737.8 megabytes. And uh, again, if I go like this and click Get Info, as you can see, it is rendered in nine, nine, uh, 1920 by 1080, and it's H.264. So just to confirm that, and uh, again, it'll be blurry because I didn't really edit anything out of it, but here's the movie right here, so it's fully rendered. So you can see, you know, it's not a bad uh, time there for an old system being that old, and I just wanted to show people, you know, how long it would take to do uh, 1080p editing. So what did you think? Not too shabby, huh? This is a 2012, so that makes it eight years old. I mean, can you imagine an eight-year-old PC trying to do even any type of video editing? This is, you know, I'm gonna maybe do a video later. Can this actually do 4K? But for 1080p, it's more than sufficient. I mean, you're gonna act, you know, like anything else, you're gonna have problems if you get into 4K with, you know, a lot of layers and stuff. But 1080p, this is pretty good. I mean, as long as you have a little bit of time, you're not, you know, money, you know, time is not money to you. Like you're not running a business where you have to just pump out videos after videos. And like, let's just say you can wait maybe 10 minutes instead of five minutes for something to render. You can pick these up for like 200, you know, in the mid 200s right now, maybe even lower because these aren't getting the newest OS updates. And I'll have a video on that later as far as, you know, should you buy one of these without getting that update. But with that said, if you just want to get, you know, the iMovie or if you want to get Final Cut Pro on here, you just want to kind of just start a YouTube channel or something. These are really good systems for 200 and something dollars. Um, and, you know, I tend to use iMovie because it's free. I don't like to spend a lot of money on my stuff. So just wanted to make a video and show people what's available. You know, post your comments on your experience also. And let me know what you guys think. All right, so you guys know my channel. I make videos, you know, just a couple a week usually, either on Mac stuff, PC stuff, and I do some travel, but that's kind of on the back burner right now. So please subscribe to my channel. It's going to definitely help me out and make more of these. Um, check back in a couple days when a couple more videos come out. Talk to you soon. Peace.